Hi everyone, before this video starts, I just wanted to remind you all that all my AdSense from June is being donated to three different Black Lives Matter fundraisers, so if you could watch the adverts the whole way through in this video, that would be amazing. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a weekly vlog, which I haven't filmed in ages. I filmed a few like weekend vlogs here and there, but I wanted to sort of show you a working week this week. It is Monday the 15th of June. I'm not sure how that's happened. This year has just zoomed by and I just can't believe it's June, basically. This time last year, things were so different. I'd literally just got back from Mykonos. Um, what was I doing? Oh, I was going to Ascot with my friends. I was in London celebrating another friend's birthday. So yeah, things are very different, but it's fine. We're all good. We've got our health and happiness. So that's the most important thing. But yeah, I just wanted to show you what a normal working week in lockdown is looking like for me at the moment um, because it's pretty much the same as a normal working week if we weren't in lockdown because obviously I work from home so I've not really got anything planned I've got some uh, packages that have arrived today which I will open with you later so this morning the only thing that I've really done is I've got up and taken a few pictures I had three different outfits to shoot and that's what I managed to do because the weather's quite nice today uh, it's quite bright and sunny but um, the rest of the week I think is going to be not very nice and it's going to rain, so that's great. It is now, what is the time? It's now 2 o'clock and I haven't eaten anything yet today, so I'm going to make myself some lunch and then carry on with some work this afternoon. So I'm in the kitchen, as you can tell, and I'm going to make myself some lunch and I'm actually going to make some pita bread pizzas, which is really random, but I used to make them all the time for lunch when I was younger and we had all the stuff so I thought I'm going to give it a go and I'm just going to show you what I do because it's quite like a neat little trick um, to making homemade pizzas so I just have a couple of bits of pita bread here um, I'm going to make two because I'm so hungry and I just put these in a baking tray I'm then going to put on some passata sauce um, and then I have here which I've already got ready a little bit of mozzarella that I've chopped up, some salami and some parma ham. And I'm gonna put a little bit of cheddar cheese on there as well. But yeah, I'm basically gonna make my own little pizza. finished product some might say burnt i say crispy just looking at these now and i don't know if i'm actually going to eat both of them but i'll give it my best shot so lunch has been had i did manage to eat both of those pizzas i don't really know what i was so worried about i knew i'd be able to i have a few skincare and beauty products that i have very kindly received over the last few days that i wanted to show you guys um i haven't used all of them yet um, the first thing that I have, which I spoke about a little bit on one of my Instagram stories, is this mascara from Marc Jacobs. You can't see that. But this is what the brush looks like. And it's just such a good mascara. I've got it on today, but you can't really tell the full effect of it. But I really, really like this. I have been using the Clinique. I can't remember what it's called. I was using a Clinique one beforehand and this one is amazing i have gotten into the habit of curling my eyelashes before i put mascara on and i feel like that does help but this mascara is amazing i was sent it very kindly from mark jacobs beauty but i will definitely be repurchasing this after this is finished this is my favorite mascara at the moment the next thing i have is a couple of bits from bondi sands i have a few spfs so this one is SPF 50 um, and this is for face. 
and this one is SPF 50 for body and I love using these. They're fragrance free, they're really easy to use, they sink into your skin really nice, you don't get that like sticky, dewy effect that you normally get with sun cream. And I put an SPF on my face every single day. Um, I use this usually as soon as I get out of the shower or as soon as I wake up before I put any of my skincare on. And I use this when I get out of the shower as well, pretty much every single day, and I've been loving them. The weather's not been amazing recently, so I haven't really needed an SPF or a sun cream for in the garden. But I still think it's important to use an SPF, especially on your face every day. I have a couple more skincare bits. These are all from a brand called Ultra Sun, which um, again, they very kindly sent to me. The first product, which I have been using a little bit, is this uh, tan booster, which is like an after sun. So I always, always, always use an after sun when I go on holiday. And this is the same sort of consistency as um, the after suns I normally use, quite runny, but it does soak into the skin really smoothly. And again, doesn't leave any sticky residue or anything like that, which is really good because I hate moisturizing and then having to wait for it to sink in um, and your skin is all sticky and not nice. So I do like this. As far as boosting my tan goes, I haven't seen any results with that yet. Uh, but I've only used this a couple of times. So I shall see how that works. I'm gonna keep using it to prolong my tan, especially on my legs. And I then have this Glimmer Shimmering Sun Protection. So this you spray on, I haven't used this at all yet, but you spray it on, it's got an SPF 20 in it. But hopefully the weather can brighten up so I can use that. And then I also have this Tan Activator, which again is a spray, this is SPF 30 and this is specifically for your face. So I'm really excited to use all of those. I'm really sad that I can't take them on holiday and use them, but let's not dwell on that. They're all for sensitive skin as well. I'm just reading it here. Moisturizing, anti-aging, sensitive skin, non-comedogenic, which is a word that I've been hearing a lot recently. So I'm guessing that that is a good thing. I then also have a couple of skincare bits from Skin Sense. This is dirty. I uh, have a anti-aging retinal serum here which I've only used once, but I am excited to continue to use this. I've heard a lot of people talk about retinol recently, so I wanted to try it. So that I'm gonna continue to use. And then this is a mask, a hydrating face mask, which I love the packaging of this. It looks so nice in the pot. And I might actually use this now. I think I'm going to take my makeup off and put this on. It's only four o'clock, but the day is nearly over for me working day anyway moving on from beauty products i have a couple of bits of jewelry to show you so i have this necklace it's from an instagram brand lijo i think it is l-i-j-o um it's a really nice thick gold chain which i love i have a similar one from lux to kill um so it's nice to have a second and then also they sent me this lovely chunky gold bracelet which i'm really really excited to wear I love this. I think it's going to look really cool, really statement on its own. Yeah, love that. So the final thing I have to show you is something that I shot this morning in the pictures that I was taking and it is incredible. I couldn't not show it on here. It is this gorgeous dress. It's very long, as you can see, and it goes into sort of like a side split, but it is just incredible. This was very kindly sent to me by a brand called Nadine Morabi. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it is just incredible. It's the perfect occasion dress. I'm really sad that I don't have anywhere to wear it, but I'm gonna keep it for a special occasion. It's so well made, it's gorgeous, it's lightweight. It's just absolutely beautiful and I couldn't not show you it. It retails at 375 pounds, I think, um, but they have some amazing, amazing dresses on there. So if you do have an occasion planned for um, some time in the future and you're looking for a dress, definitely check out their website. I'd never heard of them before they reached out to me, but yeah, I just thought this was absolutely beautiful. I'll probably put a picture actually on the screen of um, me wearing it because then you can get the full effect of the shape of the dress and what it looks like. So those are all some PR packages I've very kindly been sent. I do have a few orders coming this week actually of some different things that I've picked up recently. So um, I shall show you them when they arrive. But that's probably it for today. I'm gonna do what I said I think and take my makeup off and try this Skin Sense 
face masks. It smells really nice. It smells so clean. I'm very, very excited to use that. So it's Tuesday now. I'm having a slow morning. Um, it was one of those mornings where I had to sort something out that I didn't plan to have to sort out. Um, and it's just set me back. So slightly annoying. It's now midday and I haven't really done anything that I wanted to do yet today. But today might just have to be a little bit of a write-off as far as work goes. I'm sure I can get some bits done this afternoon. But this morning... I am going to make some sausage rolls, actually. It's a really easy uh, thing to do. My grandma used to do it all the time with me when I was younger. And now I do it. It's just a little bit of puff pastry, an egg, and some sausages. So I think we've got all those things. So I'm going to go downstairs now and make some of them. So this is what I have here. Just some normal puff pastry. This is from Tesco's. Some Tesco pork sausages. I find that these ones taste really, really nice. Um, just a little bit of plain flour so the puff pastry doesn't stick to the chopping board. One egg, this is just for the egg wash. And then I have my baking tray ready there. So I'm just going to get on with this now. It literally takes like 15 minutes. This is the finished product. Apologies if you can hear the telly in the background. I forgot to mute it. Um, but obviously these ones are quite small. You can do larger ones. This space where my mum's just taken some for her lunch. But yeah, obviously you can leave them in like a longer line and have like a big Greg size sausage roll. But I like to cut them up a little bit because it just makes it into like nice miniature bite size sausage rolls. And the pastry puffs up so nicely. So yeah, I'm gonna have a couple of these for my lunch now and then get on with some admin this afternoon. So I've had my lunch. I had another pita bread pizza, just one today um, because I wasn't as hungry and I'm glad I did because I feel so full up. But I think that um, since we've been in lockdown, I have stopped snacking for some reason just because I feel like I've been busier, uh, which is kind of backwards. Um, I know a lot of people will probably find the opposite, but I felt like I've been a lot busier since we've been in lockdown. So I've had less time to snack. So I feel like my stomach may have shrunk a little bit, hopefully. Um, and I'm just not as hungry as I used to be. Like I used to have such a big appetite and be hungry all the time. And now I'm just not. But I've come up to my room to do a little bit of work. I'm gonna try now and organize all my invoices and boring stuff like that. I've heard of a app that a few of my friends use um, called Wave. And it's supposed to be a really good way of like organising your invoices and getting them sent out. And I think it also lets you know when your invoices have been received and opened and paid. So I think I need to do that because I've just sort of been doing it all manually myself up until this point. And I need a little bit of help pretty much. So if any of you are self-employed and have used it, let me know what your thoughts are. I think it's called Wave. I'm pretty sure it is. Also, this just came in the post, this book which is why I'm no longer talking to white people about race. And obviously with everything going on at the moment, um, a lot of people have been sharing resources um, and books and podcasts and things to read. So I bought this book. I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to read it within sort of like a few days. Um, I don't normally read. I don't normally read books at all, which is really bad, but I just don't enjoy it. But this is only like 200 pages long, I think yeah like 200 pages long and um i'm really interested in learning more about particularly why britain is the way it is i want to be able to talk on these sort of subjects and i don't want to do that without having as much information as i can um so yeah i'm hoping to read this and i'm hoping to um learn a lot and yeah, I'll let you guys know what it's like. I've heard good things about it, um, that it's a really educational book. So I'm gonna give it a try. Might even start that this evening. Like I said earlier, I did have a bit of a slow morning. I wanted to do a workout when I first got up, but that didn't end up happening. So if I have time this evening, I'm gonna um, do a quick workout as well. I've sort of not done my running for ages. The last time I vlogged, I think I spoke about um, doing the Couch to 5K app, which 
I, I didn't get to 5k guys I, I had to well I didn't give up I sort of postponed it for a couple of weeks because I wasn't able to do it and I feel like running is one of those things you have to keep doing if you leave it for a long period of time you're not going to want to go back to it and that's what happened to me but I have been doing workouts three to four times a week so I kind of feel like that makes up for it and I didn't enjoy the running towards the end I think I spoke about this before I just didn't like it it was too much for me I much prefer doing a quick like hit workout at home I find that's much better for me and more beneficial for me so that's what I'm going to continue to do hopefully I'll get a chance to do one of those tonight but right now I'm just going to try and set up wave. Wednesday today I got up quite early I don't know if you just saw that but there's literally a massive thunderstorm going on um yeah I got up quite early this morning did a workout just like a 10 minute abs thing it's now thundering and then I just went on a nice walk as you will have just seen and now it's literally tipping it down it's crazy how the weather can change so quickly there's been so many thunderstorms recently and then um, we're in the middle of another one now. That walk has literally spurred on my hay fever so much, um, which I really didn't expect today. I didn't think it was going to be bad, but my nose is now blocked, my eyes are itchy. So I've just taken another antihistamine and I'm hoping that that's going to catch it um, so I'm not stuck like this for the rest of the day. Oh God, I do quite like this weather though because it makes me feel like really cosy when I'm in the house. Um, but obviously it is a shame because I'd like to be outside enjoying myself, but I can't be. Just had a um, delivery that I'm going to show you guys from um, Pelene. I think it's pronounced Pelene. But um, they've sent me a bag, which is really lovely. It's a nice summery bag. I'm just going to unbox that now and show you guys. I'm really sorry if all you can hear is the rain, but unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that. Um, but anyway, this is the box everything comes wrapped so nicely from there as well a dust bag how gorgeous is this it's this lovely um the way. it's this lovely like gray grayish color gray beige it's quite petite a nice little top handle and then obviously a crossbody strap how cute all these bags are amazing quality as well oh my god this weather I feel like this is the sort of day when I just need to cozy up and watch a film. <laughs> so cute. Just thought I might as well show you my outfit whilst I'm here. Whoa, it's pretty blue and pretty dark. Um, but you get the gist. This is the Girl Knows All um, joggers and jumper. Excuse me, I'm just in the middle of changing my bed sheets. Um, joggers and jumper set. And then I have the white Zara halter neck bodysuit on. Um, and that's pretty much it. But I love these joggers. You guys will have heard me bang on about the pretty little thing at grey joggers. Um, and I love these ones as well. They're both my absolute favourites. I wish I had some more colours of this set, especially because it's so comfy and yeah, I love it. Hi guys, so I'm sat at my desk. As you can tell, I literally spend most of my time in my videos sat in this position but it's just because my window is here so the lighting is really nice but i have pretty much been sat here all afternoon just doing admin and emails and that sort of boring stuff um but now i'm just going to get some bits ready for an instagram tv that i'm filming tomorrow i'm doing a um styling video for some cream trousers that i got if you've watched one of my zara hauls i can't remember if it's the most recent one or the one before um, but I bought a pair of cream trousers basically from Zara, some cream wide leg ones um, which actually went into the sale um, and the matching blazer did too which is slightly annoying but doesn't matter too much. But yeah I'm doing a styling video for the cream trousers, five different ways to wear them, um, some dressed up outfits and some casual ones so I'm going to get that ready now. I've got a rail that I'm just going to pop up somewhere in my room and just hang all my bits on it so I'm all ready to shoot first thing in the morning tomorrow. I like to um, get my videos done 
if I have to do any filming or anything, I like to do that straight away in the morning. So I'm gonna get up and ready and hopefully start filming by about nine o'clock tomorrow, maybe even earlier, maybe like half past eight, because um, then it's just gonna be done and I can um, edit it afterwards. I feel like all of my makeup is just completely rubbed off my face today. Um, but I just wanted to say, I hope this video isn't gonna be too boring. I feel like I say that in every single vlog, but I don't ever feel like I'm doing anything exciting. Uh, but a few of you have messaged me and asked for some more vlogs, so here they are. I hope it's interesting enough for you. This is just sort of like my day-to-day -day life um, during the week, which is not that interesting. But um, I do quite like watching other people's mundane vlogs, so hopefully you enjoy this one. So this is basically my little setup here. Ignore all my slippers to the left there. Um, these are the trousers that I'm going to be styling. Just some nice cream wide leg trousers. This is obviously the matching blazer. So that's one look with a little vest top underneath. Um, I've got an oversized vintage Nike jumper here. A cap um, and my trainers. I'm going to pop with it for the second look. A nice linen blend white shirt and some sandals um, for the third look. This is obviously a black oversized blazer and then probably going to rewear those trainers um, and maybe a vest top underneath for that one. And then this nice and casual, oh god the hanger's broken, lovely right I need to fix that. Um, yeah just plain white t-shirt and my air force for the fifth and final look so this is what i like to do um every night before i'm filming a video or an igtv just get everything out ready so i can see like if i need to steam anything i probably need to steam this shirt maybe even the t-shirt as well actually and so it's just all ready and prepped to go i also like to get my accessories and stuff out and plan how I'm going to have my hair for each look and then I normally film my IGTVs here in front of the wardrobe um, because it's quite a nice uh, spacious blank wall so I do have to move my bed over a little bit so it's quite a lot of like moving around and quite a lot of work but it normally takes about two hours to film um because I'm quite slow at like getting changed and like doing my makeup and touching things up in between so um, I like to get, like I said, get up early and get it done. So that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I also have a few packages that I could open um, in this video, but I'm not sure whether to save them and do like a big collective new in haul. Um, so I might do that, I don't know. I haven't even shown you actually these trainers yet. These are um, from Axel Arigato and I got these last week, I think. I have worn them a couple of times, but I absolutely love them they're just like a chunky dad trainer as you can see i was after the new balance trainers that are quite similar um looking to these ones but they've been sold out for ages and i sort of gave up trying to be honest and then i came across these these are called the marathon runner something that i am definitely not but i just thought they were really cool these were 200 pounds so quite pricey but i love this like chunky dad trainer trend so I wanted to purchase a good quality pair of these trainers and to be honest the price of trainers these days is so expensive like you can't get a good pair of trainers really for less than £100 so I am really pleased with these they're so comfy as well. So I will leave them linked down below in case anybody is interested in these but for all the other outfits um, head over to my Instagram because the IGTV will probably be up by now and if it's not um, just bear with me. <laughs> Welcome to Thursday. Um, I have filmed my IGTV and I've edited it. I got up quite early this morning and got that done, which I'm really pleased with because I was expecting that to take a lot longer than it did. So I'm glad that I sort of prepped it all last night. I've just had the remainder of the sausage rolls for my lunch. Um, I know I only made them two days ago, but all 24 of them are all already gone. So I think we're gonna have to make this a more regular thing that I make them because they're just such a good snack. I'm now gonna have a bath, which I know is not the most productive thing to do in the middle of the afternoon, but I just really feel like having a bath and I need to wash my hair anyway. And yeah, I just wanna relax for a bit. So I'm gonna run myself a bath, which I feel like I do in nearly every single video that I've uploaded recently. Um, so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna watch the last episode of 13 Reasons Why season four 
whilst I'm in the bath because I've almost finished that. So I'm obviously bathed, um, I've blow dried my hair and just tied it up. I also painted my nails um, because some of them were coming off in the bath actually and I just thought oh, I might as well soak them all off and repaint them. Um, so this is the colour, it's this really nice like light pink nude colour. Um, it's an OPI one and I believe it's called Bubble Bath. Um, I'll link it for you in the description box but I think this is the worst that I've painted my nails yet so far in lockdown like I just was in a bit of a rush to do it and they're just not not as great as they normally are which is a bit of a shame but never mind at least they're done you can't really tell from a distance it's only if I examine them close up that they don't look great also got a huge blemish coming on the bottom of my cheek here which is really annoying because I've had clear skin now for about a month so to be fair I should have been expecting someone like this to come along and ruin it looks like he's going to be here to stay for a while as well i actually just got a cult beauty delivery so i'll unbox that now i only picked up two things i just got another one of the cleansers that i always use i wanted the bigger 50 ml or 100 ml i think it is um i can't remember but yeah i wanted the bigger size but they didn't have any so i had to just get the um 35 mil which is the smallest one they do it does last me for quite a while so should be okay but this is the only cleanser that i want to use now so i love it it's just such a buttery consistency so i got myself a new one of those because i'd completely run out um for quite a while now which i think i'd run out for about a week and i just hadn't got around to ordering another one and then i picked up something from a brand called summer fridays but i've never um tried anything from there before so I wanted to give it a go because I've heard people rave about this brand and I picked up the jet lag mask it's called I love their packaging I think this is such a beautiful tube and such a nice blue color but yeah it's the um, jet lag mask and it's supposed to be really hydrating upgrade your skin to a business class complexion cruelty free artificial fragrance free and sulfate free so that's great I'm really excited to try this it was quite pricey i think this was 22 pounds and obviously it's quite small i think the larger size was like 40 something pounds and i wasn't going to be spending that on a product that i hadn't yet tried so i'm going to try this maybe i'll love it and i'll be able to justify repurchasing it but yeah i just thought i wanted to try out some new skincare products i'm trying things out a bit more doing face masks more often than i would normally so yeah i thought i might as well try something like this this box is really soft as well it's that soft touch cardboard um anyway yeah so i'm going to pop these away i was going to do the mask tonight but i don't think i'm even going to bother now i think i'm just going to relax for the rest of the evening it's five o'clock now so I might, it's actually nearly half past five i might even have a glass of wine now that's quite early but it's thursday it's almost the weekend I'm um, having a really nice dinner tonight as well, which I am excited for. Me and my mum are cooking steak and we're going to have it. Um, we like to have it recently in like an open sandwich. So I want a little bit of um, nice bread. I'm not sure what bread we've got and some salad and some like balsamic vinegar and something like that. So I think we're going to have that for our dinner tonight, which will be really nice. So yeah, I'm going to go and pour myself a glass of rosé and have a nice relaxing evening. Friday today and I am taking some pictures whilst the weather is I mean it's okay I'm taking them inside today so it doesn't matter if it's raining but um, the past few days when I've tried to take pictures it's been so so dark but it's not too dark today and it's kind of bright still outside I've just sort of changed my room around this is what I tend to do when I take pictures it's just move my bed along a bit and then put my mirror here so it's against the wardrobes and then I just tend to like in my editing I tend to just edit out the like doorknobs um, and the lines down the middle so that it looks like I'm stood against a plain white wall. Um, I do find that quite a lot of light comes in from these windows here so it's quite a good spot actually for taking pictures 
um, and then I do some with my tripod up against the wall here. So what I tend to do is put my phone on this stand here um, and then I have a Bluetooth clicker um, that you guys may have heard of. I'll show you when I get it out. Um, but yeah, I basically just hide that somewhere on me and press the button and my phone takes the pictures for me. So I can just keep checking back, seeing which ones are good and it's a really good way to um, do it myself. And it just saves less hassle than just putting self timer on because that takes me forever. So I've done one outfit. This is the second outfit. I'm gonna put some heels on um, and shoot this in the mirror. And then I've got a third outfit that I'm gonna shoot just up against the wall. So hopefully that won't take me too long and it should keep me going for a few days of content. I might do a few flat lays as well. I shall see how much time I have. I am just about to clean some of my jewellery, so I thought I may as well film it for you. I don't know how exciting that is going to be, but that's what I'm doing this afternoon. Um, I have a glass and a little shallow bowl, and I have some washing up liquid that I'm going to use. Yeah, and I'm basically just going to show you how I do it. It's not that interesting, but I try to do this... I try to do it, like, once a month, but I don't. I do it, like, once every couple of months or once every three months. Um, I'm mainly just going to clean um, my earrings and my rings today. I have one necklace and my watch that I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, that's it pretty much. So this is what I've done for my watch. Um, I don't really want to get the whole thing wet. I've just balanced it on some chopsticks, which I found in the cupboard. And um, obviously dangled the bracelet into the water. I put a couple of squirts of this washing up liquid in. It smells amazing. It's focus it's the method peach and pink pepper and yeah it just smells incredible and then i've squirted a few drops in this dish as well and i'm basically just going to pop my rings and my earrings in there and leave them all to soak for i don't know we'll see how long until they look cleaner basically um but this is how my dad cleans his watch so i thought that i would give it a go and he said that it's just sort of most of the grime and stuff on the bracelet just falls off so hopefully it will. As you can see though, the very top of the bracelet is not in the water. So um, after I've let that soak for a little bit, I'll just go along with like a cotton bud or something and try and get into all these little nooks and crannies um, around the face as well. So this is all my rings and earrings that I wear most days or wear a lot in here. Um, so I'm just gonna let that soak for a little while. All of these bits of jewelry are either gold or gold plated. So they should clean quite well. They normally do it anyway. And then I'm also just going to pop in my Louis Vuitton padlock because this is quite grimy. I haven't actually cleaned it properly since I got it. I've been meaning to do it for ages. It's just one of those things that I haven't got around to doing yet. So I've popped that in there as well. And I'm just going to let these soak for a little while. Hi everyone, it's Saturday now. Um, I was just editing this video and realised that I never showed you my clean jewellery, nor did I finish this video. So I thought I would do both now. Um, I only have a little video taken from my Instagram stories of what my jewellery looked like once it was clean. So I will insert that now um, so you can just get a little idea. But it worked really well and my jewellery is all sparkling now. I actually ended up leaving it to soak for more like an hour just so all the grime and dirt was properly removed. Um, but yeah, that was it pretty much. I hope you enjoyed seeing my working week vlog. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys soon with another video.